Hi guys, it's me Zara, and today I decided that I'll be reading you guys Read Me a Story Stella. It's by Mary Louise Gay, and um, I know some of you are wondering why is um, Stella upside down, but well, she's not. She's just hanging from a tree. And I love Stella's red hair and her gray shorts, and those gray stockings or socks are very, very bright. Like, not bright, but they're very, very nice. Goes with her shorts. Anyways, at the back, you can see Sam, and he's holding some twigs, and this is a groundwood book. And, you know, half of the sticks are coming out of the picture, so I just love that that um, idea. It's very nice. So, anyways, inside the book it says, this is actually published on November 2013, so it's not that old. Okay, read me a story, Stella, by Mary Louise Gay. So you can see Sam, and he's a... Uh, Fred, this is Fred, I'm guessing. Yeah, this dog is Fred and from the TV show. And he's um, helping Sam get twigs. Um, and there's always this wagon in the TV show, so it's like very nice. I like that wagon. And then you could see a farmhouse. And yeah. Okay, let's get started. Stella called Sam. Look what I found. Those are really nice branches, said Stella. Are you going to build a nest, um, Stella? Sam's not a bird. Um, if he was a bird, then he would have built a nest. So, yeah. Just giving you a head start. I'm not a bird, said Sam. I told you, Stella, he's not a bird. I'm building a doghouse for Fred. So, that's Stella. That's Sam. And that's Fred. I'm sure Fred will love that, said Stella. So up here you can see Stella picking apples, and there's another, there's a cute little bunny behind the basket of apples, and it almost have the same basket as this one that Stella has, so it's this one, and it has lots of apples. I got this from the Woodsy set, so yeah, it's very cute. And then you could see her holding up the red apple, and then there is Sam, and he's pulling the wagon. Okay. Laughing, said Stella. Said a laughing Stella asked Sam. This book is so funny. It tells you how to make soup with stones, how to teach your cat to fly, and what to do if a wolf knocks at your door. So, what would you do if a wolf knocks at your door? I would um just invite him in for tea, or if he was a big bad wolf and he was about to blow my house down. I would just go and build a brick house for myself. What would you do? Write in the comment sections down below. Does your book tell you how to build a dog house, asked Sam? No, said Stella, but I can help you. So there's Sam, and he looks like he's having a very hard time building that house. And there's the dog, Fred, and he has a leaf on him, and a woodpecker. And there's always woodpeckers in my garden. There used to be until my tree got cut down. And there's Stella, all comfortable in the, um, I'm not sure what that's called, but um, what if, if you know what it's called, please write in, feel free to write in the comment sections below. So she's laughing at the book. It's very funny. So here's a finished look, and that's how the, the dog, is it dog house? Yeah, it uh, looks like, and it's very pretty. So this was before, and this was after. So nice. Good work. Good job, Sam and Stella. There, it's finished. Isn't it beautiful, Sam? Do you think a wolf could blow Fred's doghouse down, asked Sam? A tornado couldn't blow this house down, said Stella. You're right. <laughs> Isn't a wolf stronger than a tornado, whispered Sam? Maybe we should have used bricks. Maybe we should have a maybe we should have a picnic at Lily Pond, said Stella. After all this hard work. Okay, just I wanted to shout this out, but there is a bunny reading this a uh, this book, and it, the bunny is so adorable. I that's so cute. I just had to tell you that to you guys, but it's so adorable. 
I love it. And then there's Stella, and they're building the house, and there's Sam inside the house, and there's Fred, and it's very pretty. And they put these um, strings with these flags at the bottom. Lots of twigs and stuff. Look, Sam, the first dragonfly. We must be very close to Lily Pond. Are there crocodiles in the pond, now, Sam? Are are I not? What is that word again? Oh, well, that's such a hard word. Is it called? Or rhinoceroses. Yeah, rhinoceroses. So that's rhinoceroses. Sorry. Okay, next. The pond is way too tiny, Estella. Crocodiles and rhinoceroses need a lot of water to swim in. I like tiny pods. Ponds, said Sam. So does Fred. So there's Stella, and I'm not sure why Stella is holding an umbrella, even though it's a very beautiful day. And there's a red wagon gun with all this um, pawn supplies or picnic, and there's Sam having a... Um, ha- is that, what does that say on it? Is that... I don't know, what is it? Hashtag something something. <laughs> and there is a net and some sand supplies, and there's Fred. Are there any frogs in that book, asked Sam? No, said Stella, but there's a big old toad wearing a velvet jacket. Do you want me to read this story to you? Not right now, said Sam. I'm trying to catch a frog. Is he wearing a velvet jacket too, asked Stella? Yes, said Sam, a green one. So there's Stella and Sam, and they're at the beautiful pond, and Stella's reading a book. It's a beautiful day. This caterpillar is soft, so soft and wriggly, whispered Sam. Here's a picture of a caterpillar in my insect book, said Stella, before he become, became a butterfly. So for those of you who don't know that um, when caterpillars eat a lot, they become and they go in a cocoon and they become a butterfly after a few weeks or a few days. Caterp- caterpillars become butterflies, asked Sam. How do they know? How do they do that? They go to sleep for a long, long time and dream about flying. I'm going to try that tonight, said Sam. Do you think he would live, like to live in our garden? Why not, said Stella. Let's take him home. So there's Sam, and there's a caterpillar. And I saw a caterpillar one time in the backyard. It was almost the same color as that. And there's Stella and Sam, and Stella's reading a book. Look, Stella, I'm teaching Fred to fly a kite. Run like the wind, Sam, said Stella. You too, Fred. He did it, cried Sam. Fred is flying the kite all by himself. So there's Fred, and he's flying the kite. And there's Stella. And, yeah. Uh Uh-oh, said Stella. I guess Fred shouldn't have barked. Will the kite get caught on a cloud, cried Sam. Will it get burned by the sun? Kites on their way around the sky, said Stella. They ride the wind until they find their way home. (laughs) I love this picture. I'm going to put the caterpillar next to this ladybug, said Sam. So they can be friends. It's time to water the garden, said Stella. The plants and flowers are very thirsty. So there they are, watering the flowers and Sam looks like he doesn't like getting wet not at all <laughs> don't water my caterpillar Stella said Sam he doesn't like getting his stripes wet oops said Stella looks like everybody got watered even the ladybug how long does it take for carrots to grow asked Sam When did you plant the seeds, asked Stella. When did you plant the seeds, asked Stella. This morning. But the rabbits look hungry now. (laughs) The rabbits sure do look hungry. I'll read them a poem, said Stella, while they wait for the carrots to grow. Can you read it to me too, asked Sam. Of course, said Stella. Listen. So there's Stella sitting in this um, wagon. 
again. <laughs> and she looks comfortable with her umbrella. And there's Sam. So this is a poem. White fluffy rabbits are running by like clouds in a grass green sky, looking for carrots to bake a pie. Stella asked Sam, what cl that cloud looks like a rabbit. Is it looking for a carrot, asked Stella? Yes, said Sam. So that cloud sure does look like a rabbit. And there's Stella with her book again. Why are you reading upside down, Stella, asked Sam. I'm reading a story about a bat, said Stella. I just want her to feel like one. Do bats read upside down, asked Sam. Well, bats hang upside down while they're sleeping in their cave. <laughs> I'm very scared of vampire bats. Bats read upside down, right, right side up or sideways, answered Stella. Bats just love to read, like you, said Sam. Like me, said Stella. I also love to read. That's why I started a channel. Me and Zoe started a channel about reading. But bats also like to swoop and glide through the night, asked Stella, added Stella. Oh, there's the moon, whispered Sam. Where did it come from? The moon always rises when bats beat their wings, said Stella. Shall I put Fred in bed in his new doghouse, Sam? A doghouse, Sam, asked Stella. Fred is going to sleep in my room tonight, said Sam. He said he might sleep in his doghouse tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe Fred is scared of the night. Or bats. Are you reading, Stella? whispered Sam. Yes, said Stella. Fred can't sleep, said Sam. Could you read a story to me and Fred? Of course, said Stella. So Stella's about to read them a story. And there's Sam's shadow. Once upon a time, said Red Stella, there was a little boy. Was his name Sam? asked Sam. <laughs> yes, said Stella. And his best friend was a small brown dog named Fred. <laughs> and they're all comfy in his their bed. And there's Big Moon. So the end. So that brings us to the end of our story, and um, these are all the other books that you could get by Stella and Sam. So there's Stella, Star of the Sea, Stella, Queen of the Snow, and more. Some that you read that a little while. So you can just pause the video to read that. And then, so that brings us to the end of our book. And if you enjoy this video, please subscribe and comment and please share so you can see more videos. So subscribe to see more videos. So bye guys.